and welcome to The Wrap Studios. I'm Stuart Brazel here with Natasha Bassett, Britney Spears and Britney Ever <laughs> After. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. So how is it for everyone to finally get to see Britney Ever After? Um, it's exciting, but nerve wracking at the same time. Playing someone who I've grown up idolizing is petrifying as well <laughs> because I have so much respect and admiration for Britney. So I can only hope that her loyal fan base enjoys the film. What was your preparation like? The minute I found out, I started talking in her accent right away with my friends and family and driving them crazy for a week. <laughs> and I, I read every book that exists on Britney Spears, pretty much a Britney expert now, if I can say so myself. And I watched her interviews and documentaries all the time. Every second I wasn't rehearsing or filming, I had them playing on my phone in my headphones and they were imperative for me to understand her experiences and the journey that she went on. Was there anything that you learned about her that you found surprising while filming? What I found really cool is that she writes a lot of her songs and creates the concepts for her own music videos. So I found it fascinating to learn that for Baby One More Time, I'm not sure if you know this, but um, the film director wanted to uh, direct it as an animated video presenting Britney as a Power Ranger character. <laughs> and, wow! Yeah, and she thought that was ridiculous, as one might, and joked to her mom that they were going to kick her out of the country if she did that. So she was the one who came up with the idea of playing a schoolgirl dancing around a hallway, and that ended up being so iconic. And then I want to touch on some of the, of course, you were dancing for us in the photo shoot. What would you say that some classic Britney moves are that if you're gonna be Britney, you gotta get these down? Head whips. She's a master of head whips. I'm not that innocent. I saw some popping. Oh yeah, some little pops going on. I'm not that innocent. And she really works those close-ups when she just looks right down the barrel of the camera. Yes. I'm not that innocent. And what do you hope the fans take away from this film? What? compelled me to tell this story is that it shines such a positive light on her and how, you know, not only is she one of the world's most powerful performers, she's also a mom to two gorgeous sons and she has a residency in Vegas. So she's an incredible human being and it shines a, a light on all these positive attributes to her personality. And I hope people will see that and, and will enjoy that. <laughs> and then finally, will we get to see the epic Jean on Jean couples red carpet appearance in the I film? I can't tell you that. You're going to have to wait and see. It's a yes, I can tell. <laughs> we, I we didn't can't say have nothing. We can't have Britney on Lifetime without the jeans. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us here at Tell everyone when they can watch your film. Uh, Lifetime is going to be airing Britney Ever After on Saturday night at 8, 7 central. So tune in. Watch it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.